Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing my Black Friday haul video and I'm so excited. Um, I do have to be kind of quiet because it is close to midnight and I was not planning on filming this clearly. I just spent about 15 hours at the mall and it was raining when I got home and I had to run and I, that's why my hair is like a mess because it was like pouring. I look like a hot mess. I have been up since about 4.30, 4 or 4.30. Yeah, I'm still wearing like the holiday shirt we have to wear and I just, you know, I was like, I was drinking my cup of tea and I was like, you know what, I kind of want to film this tonight with my new camera because I knew that it had like a good night setting, so it probably doesn't look the best quality in the world, but at least I can film and it looks okay and I don't normally film at night, so this is weird. So it's like pitch black right here by my window. My, my other window's there, so it's like pitch black. <laughs> Yeah, um, ignore my picture. This is where I set it just because it's not hanging. This is where I usually set it. Okay, so I got a lot of stuff today. This is going to be a forever long haul. Some stuff that I just want to go through and put in a little cubicle because I just got to get all the stuff put away, you guys. It's, it's going to drive me nuts. I've been up for almost 18, 19 hours now, like a week, and I'm exhausted, and I just, I need to get through this. So, yeah. Um, so obviously you guys know we're moving, so I've been getting little things here and there, and the, one of the things I got at Target was this today, and this was four $4.99, originally like $11.99. I got some new makeup, and I'm so excited. Um, I actually don't have my Gilded and Gold or Up in Smoke Maybelline Holiday Palettes to show you guys. Those are actually over there, and I'm just too lazy to go get them. But one of my subbies did send both of the Maybelline Holiday um, edition palettes to me and I'm so thankful her name was Jenny from Long Island and thank you sweetie I loved it and you will be getting a letter and she asked for a autographed photo so I will be sending that to you as well like thank you it just uh, it was amazing and I was like I wanted to buy them but I just didn't so I'm excited that I didn't um, the one thing I did buy that I was looking at for about I would say two or three days now I've been going into Target every day and I've been staring at this and it's the Maybelline lip gloss palette I don't know when I'll ever use this um and it's like dumb but I fell I don't know I just fell in love with it and I was like oh my god it's a palette it's like probably the worst thing ever I don't actually know so I'll probably do a review on this or something like that for you guys but I did buy it so whatever and then it was buy one get one half off of Maybelline so I did get another oh not Maybelline Revlon I'm sorry so I got two of the Revlon photo art or photo ready IR I gave one in a package I'm sending to cosmetics council hint hint something's in there for you from this and then I got myself this color so now I have three of them and I love them they're just the perfect eye base like my eyeshadow still on today because of something like this so I think I'm gonna try this one tomorrow and it's more of like a orangey it's not it's a combination of a copper and a pink like a champagne so I kind of I'm gonna swatch this I'm actually like really curious I would say I don't even know what to call that but it's more it looks darker on camera it's between a copper and a champagne is what I think I'd call it it doesn't really smell and then like the glitter is just disappointing no one uses the glitter but I mean, I like the glitter. It's pretty, but they don't, like, ever stick, so. It's pretty, though. And then I got another one of my infallible Promat powders because mine is broke. Like, this whole, like, the whole thing, like, broke off, and it's almost gone, so I figured I'd get a new one because I just hate throwing stuff in my purse that's gonna, like, fall over the place. I want to wipe this off, but I can't. I have nothing to wipe it off with. Ah, I don't normally film, like, right here. And then I got a couple of new blushes. Oh, the first thing I got was actually this CoverGirl. And I had $2 off any CoverGirl eye, um, eye product. And I wanted to try this because I heard Rach Loves talk about I think it was Rach Loves or Jessica Braun. I think it was um, Rach Loves. Jessica Braun is one of my new favorite YouTubers right now, by the way. Oh, can't believe I discovered her. Like, I, I love her. Um, but I love this. And I think I'm really going to like the number three color. And I did get another one of these for... Cosmetics Council, so another hint hint on what you got. Um, I figured it was really good, so I just picked up two of them. I hope it's good. And then I picked up three blushes. Three blushes. Three blushes. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for my hair. Um, the first one is... Oh my god, let me try it. The first one is a Sonia Kashuk Blush and Bronzer Duo. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I just want to like see how beautiful it is this one is in the lightest shade oh i think that'll work for me definitely this is in the lightest they had um two other like 
a medium shade and a darkest shade. This one was the lightest one and I wanted it specifically for the bronzer so I could try out a Sonia Kashuk bronzer. I've definitely been trying out a lot more Sonia Kashuk stuff lately. Whatever. Um, a lot of the makeup was actually gone because of Black Friday. Um, a couple days ago when I went in, Sonia Kashuk had a translucent powder. Like a translucent almost highlight powder I wanted to try. It was in like this packaging format. It was gone. All two rows of like the different shades were gone and I was like, cool. So, didn't get that. And then I just got a Revlon blush. Well, what's it called? It's a highlighting palette in Rose Glow. I don't know why this caught my attention. I don't usually go for um, Revlon blushes just because they're pretty pricey for a drugstore. But I figured, look how pretty. And I figured, um, you know, it would be pretty to... Pretty sheer but I feel like that could be really cute just to kind of play with it's very velvety and soft and I just you know me I love my blushes and then I got a Neutrogena one while well, I was on a blush kick um it's a healthy skin blends so I think you're supposed to like blend these together I didn't open them like I literally just got home ate dinner was like I'm gonna go to bed and then was like oh no wait I want to film eh, eh, eh. pay three thousand dollars for my teeth and I do this so pretty pretty Ooh, this is like sorry guys my memory card died anyway those are the things that I got oh now this is dry so this is like officially dried it doesn't like come off like at all it's so like tattooy I love it so yeah that's that and then I also got some Vaseline or petroleum jelly vaseline because I want to I wanted to mix eyeshadow with it and try to come up with my own custom lip gloss and just kind of put it on my cuticles because my cuticles have been pretty shitty lately. Oh, smells so good. I got this for my boyfriend's mom and this is called Father Christmas and it's literally just all bath bombs. There's five bath bombs and she loves bath bombs so I actually might get this for my mom as well um just because it's got only bath bombs in it. There's not like bubble bars or something to mess with so you know, I feel like they'll have fun and they'll have good times with the baths. Um, we also have a Secret Santa thing for work. And whoever I get is going to get this. And it's the it's just a philosophy set. It was $25. And it has a sweet creamy frosting, which is just like a body lotion. as a Christmas cookie, um, shampoo, shower gel, bubble bath. And then it has a sugar sprinkles lip gloss. So I just thought that was kind of cute. And... I wanted it. I also made VIB status today at uh, at Sephora, so yay for that one. And then I also got my boyfriend's mom this Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. She has been loving. I'll show you guys what it looks like. We got samples of it. Well, not really a sample. We got like a, a travel size of it. Um, it's actually probably about a third of this. And we got it in like a kit. And she's obsessed, so I got her the full size. And yeah, so I think my boyfriend's mom's like good. good. But bought her quite a bit of stuff so and then I got a bit of stuff myself so I had a bunch of points again so I decided to grab some stuff and this is the Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum I actually have this in the kit that I got with um, when I got the Clinique Moisture Surge but I wanted it again so I just got another one I feel like if I, I feel like I might want to go back again tomorrow and get another one um just so I can like stock up and not have to pay for them um and then I got this Clinique Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel and actually I haven't opened this one yet and these were both like 100 points each for Sephora oh god that's tiny Oh my god, that's so little. Well, anyway, it'll be good just, you know, to give it a try. I've never tried anything of their acne stuff. And I don't have much acne at all um, right now, so thank god, right? And then, basically, my reasoning for going to Sephora was to get the Philosophy Kit Set, because that's the one I wanted. And I wanted to get the Double Exposure Smashbox Mini Palette. And I, I don't know why. This, this, for some reason, I've been staring at for so long. And it's just the little baby one. I wanted to try the eyeshadows to see if I liked it before I, you know, went and spent the whole palette. They're so pretty. I swatched some of them today, and some of them are actually pretty disappointing. Like, this brown and the blue are not very pigmented at all, so I'm wondering if they'll be better wet, but this one I'm really excited about, so 
we'll see how that goes this was $24 so if I don't like it it's not like I wasted that much and it is Smashbox so that was kind of cool and then I I've never and I always rag on NARS because they're so expensive but I got a NARS concealer for $12 and if it was any more than like 15 I probably wouldn't have gotten it but I wanted to try it pull it out okay so this is what it looks like for $12 and my concealers last me forever because I have so many of them but I figured I wanted to try a high-end one so I can maybe find a dupe or something drugstore version so because I can't compare anything really high-end to what I have because you know I've never tried it so I figured I would try the NARS concealer so I'm very excited about that and it is called a radiant creamy concealer and it is in vanilla light 2 so I hope that's light enough I couldn't find a light one and then some other stuff I got at Lush was I got this fairy dust and it doesn't fill up all the way like that's I was like is this supposed to be like not this full and they're like yeah so apparently this kind of goes with the snow fairy shower gel which I'm obsessed with and I was like you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna splurge on myself and do it so I got this and then they were giving out samples of soap and I got sexy peel they're very it's a very very tiny sample of soap like it'll probably be gone tonight Oh, it smells so good though. I love it. It's just like the smell of, like lemon. So I think I'm probably going to use that tonight in the shower. And then I got a bubble bar for myself. And it looks like this. So pretty. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. It smells so like lavender. -y. So I figured during the holiday season I'm going to want something nice to relax in. Ha ha ha. I don't have that much time left on my memory card. Which is so funny because this camera has memory like in the actual thing, so I don't know why I don't just use that. But... On to Bath and Body Works. So I did get this tote bag for it was if you spent 35 you got this for 25 and like everything in it so the st and the whole store was mix and match buy three get three free and I if I didn't have so many candles I wanted I actually wanted candles but I was smart and got all pretty much all shower gels because I'm I'm really running out of my stash and I want to make sure I have a good stash when I move out so the first one I got was uh, velvet sugar so got that one and then this is the, this was the very last jingle all the way one that they had like it was actually part of a gift set and then someone like returned this one and um and just this and she's like okay so I got it so this was the very last one in the store so this kind of is uh the keynotes are iced clementine sparkling snowflakes north pole vanilla and blue spruce so I was excited about getting that and then I got Japanese cherry blossom. It's just a staple for me to have that. And then I got a thousand wishes. Just some different ones that I've never really had. And then I'd never tried this before, but I got the Velvet Sugar Mist. I don't really need a mist, but I figured it was nice. And then I got a Be Joyful Foaming Sugar Scrub. So, and I actually, um... And I really liked the Be Joyful scent, and I wanted to get everything in Be Joyful. And then I saw that the present, like the gift bag, is all Be Joyful. And it actually made things a lot easier for me to like pick out what I wanted. Um, because I wanted one of these soaps just because I wanted the way it was shaped. And it came with it, so that came with the gift. And then you've got the Be Joyful spray. The Be Joyful shower gel. And then the Be Joyful lotion, which I probably won't use, so this I'll pass along. I just don't use their lotions. And then I got a candle, the Be Joyful candle, which was really cool because I was like, oh my god. Like, this is mainly, oh no, this is not Be Joyful. This is Spiced Apple Toddy. Ooh. That's yummy. That's totally yummy. So that's like everything you got for free and this really nice bag. So that was pretty awesome. So I have to say, I made out like a bandit at Bath & Body Works. And then I went to Tivana mainly because I wanted to get a cup of tea before I went to work. And they were having a buy one get one free sale on their tea. So my favorite tea in the world came out again for the holidays. It's white chocolate peppermint tea. I love it. And this was $40. And then it comes with like all this. I already drank some so I put it in the, I put it back in the Ziploc baggie. Yeah. 
I'm not making a mistake and dumping it in here again. Because I could, won't be able to get this open. And then the one I got for free was gingerbread. And like they're both $40. So the fact that I got one free is amazing. And then I got this cup for half off. Originally $20 and I got it for $10. And then being a mall employee I got a 10% discount. So it just has a top. It's wet because I did make tea earlier. And then this is the like what you um, soak it in. And I don't have anything like this. And I really wanted one of these cups. That's like actually the reason I went in there. And to get my tea. But so that was a super good deal. Did not plan on getting that. And then going to Target quickly. I got a scrub daddy for the apartment because everyone talks about how good these are so I wanted to grab one and then I got these as Christmas presents one for my um my step grandma my Mimi I got her this one it's just a mug with like a cozy little sweater thing around it so that's really cute and then I got my stepmom this one just super pretty I don't know which one I'll give which I feel like Mimi is more like a pattern person so I want I give her that one that's just part of their presence. And that I need a deodorant. Not that you care. And then I got a couple of shaving kits. This one I actually got for myself. And it is the Venus Olay. And it comes with the swivel um, swirly razor. I've always wanted to try it. And this was $9.99, you guys. And for this razor alone, it's $9.99. And then you get this um, body lotion with ultra moisture and it is over an $18 value and then you get the um shaving cream which I needed an extra shaving cream so I thought this was perfect for me and then I got this one for my boyfriend I can show you he doesn't watch my videos anymore I got this one for my boyfriend because he he obviously shaves he's a guy but I don't know if he's ever used Gillette or anything so I got him a really nice one and it's got body wash and deodorant as well. So that was a really nice kit. And I believe this one was $14.99, I want to say. So that was that. And then these I want to show. These are my ornaments. Um, I go with this ornament store comes to the mall every year and I'm obsessed. So I got a lot of ornaments for people and they were so expensive this year. I usually don't. I didn't pay attention to the price. I was like, I'm just going to go get it. And when they rang it up, these all came to, it was a total of $54. I was like, so I was like, okay, well, if my parents think that they're getting cheapy ornaments. God, I hope not. This one was $15.99 and it was for my, my dad and Karen. And I had them, um, engrave it and everything because they got married this year so I thought this was really pretty um and ornaments are kind of my thing and you know I was like oh, I'm on a budget I'll get ornaments no no so I'm probably not I was gonna go back and get a lot more and I'm glad I didn't get all that I wanted to get and this one was $19.99 this was almost 20 bucks and this one is for my boyfriend super pretty because he's like a movie buff so I figured this was really cute for him and then this one is for Eden because I want to get one for her every year. And this is the one I got her. It's Cinderella's Castle. So I was excited about that present. And then this one is just a firefighter one for my stepdad. And then this one is for um, Catherine, which is the baby's grandma. So it's like a wine one with just a bunch of like grapes I love this one so that was fun the firefighting one oh the castle was $15 the firefighting one was I think five that was the cheapest and this one was 14 so it came oh my god it was so expensive I couldn't even believe what I was doing I was like I didn't even buy that many ornaments and and then they charge you for the engravement I was like really I can just take a sharpie and do it myself thanks <laughs> hmm. that's me Anyway, and then the last place I went to, obviously, was my store, and I wanted this blanket because it was the free blanket with $100 purchase, and the one thing that I can show you guys that I got for myself is these pajama pants because I have two other pairs, and I want to throw all my crappy pajamas out, so yeah, this is what I'm left with. But anyway, I love you guys so, so much, and thank you for watching my Black Friday haul. I love you. Mwah.